There are many show commands and debug commands available when you work with any connect configuration. And it can be powerful to know these commands when you troubleshoot configurations. First of all, the most common show command to use is about any connect is to show VPN dash session DB. This shows a brief output about statistics on VPN sessions. In a table format, we can see how many active and inactive sessions we have. We can see the total number of how many sessions that have been up and how many that has been concurrent, the peak. At most, two concurrent sessions, that's the peak. And how many that is right now inactive. And we can see them per type. AnyConnect clients, IPsec VPN clients, and the clientless browser sessions. And we'll also see information about how many tunnels have been up at the same time and total cumulative number of the tunnels. To add more information about the specific sessions right now, we add AnyConnect to the command. Show VPN dash session DB AnyConnect shows the current sessions. And actually, I have two sessions up and running right now. I'm not sure why, but it's good to see how it looks like. So it shows this much information per session. Here we can see the username. The assigned IP is the pool IP address, the public IP that the user comes from. And we can see also about the information about the group policies and which tunnel group he's attached to. And the time when he logged in and how long he has been logged in and how long the session has been inactive. So a lot of information per session that we can see. And except for that, we can use the debug commands to get information when the user logs in and logs out. For example, we can use debug WebVPN AnyConnect WebVPN to get information about AnyConnect logins. And we will try to log out and log in again to see that we get any output. I jump to the client and try to find the AnyConnect client software here. I disconnect, and even during the disconnect, I guess that I will get some output. Yep, yeah. I got some output during the disconnect, and even more when I connect. So let's connect again. Connect and log in, and we get some information here. A lot of information about the login attempt and the handshake information can be handy in troubleshooting situations. We can also use the command and debug all turns off all debugs, the debug command debug LDAP to troubleshoot LDAP communication, the back end communication between the client and the Active Directory server. When I record this, I have already set up a connection to LDAP for authentication. And you will learn in a few videos how to configure that. But here are the debug commands. And we will see here soon that when I log in, I will get output about LDAP. Actually, I need to raise the debug level to get even more information. After most debug commands, you have an option to add a number between 1 and 255 that tells how much information, how verbose information you want to have. And for some commands, which has the default of number 1, you will not get any information during a normal and successful login attempt or a successful operation. You need to raise the number to something higher to get uh, output. And here we got a lot of LDAP output. All these lines here, 89 is the session. So all lines that begins with 89 belongs to the same session. So this is the LDAP output for the command debug LDAP. And debug all turns off debug. Debug DAP trace. In a later video, I will show you how dynamic access policies works. And for troubleshooting dynamic access policies, you can use the command DAP trace to see which DAP lines are applied and what's happening during the login. So let's see if that works. Here we get a lot of information about the DAP trace, which can become handy when you troubleshoot DAP. Yep, 
So we have the show VPN dash session DB command. Let's skim through them. We have the show VPN session DB command with an additional AnyConnect to get more information about each session. We have the command debug web VPN AnyConnect to get general information about the login for AnyConnect. We have the command debug LDAP that gives us information about the LDAP communication between the firewall and the LDAP servers. And we have debug DAP trace that gives us information about dynamic access policies. These commands are good to know and remember because they are very useful when you have problems configuring and setting up and using AnyConnect.